We have finally hit legend in the NBA 2K23. Well, we're not really, but look, the first legend said I could use this account for 24 hours. But before we get on it, let's go ahead and see what he got for becoming a legend and scoring 100,000 points, winning 500 GOAT level games, completing all 12 season quests, and winning 20 events. Okay, 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 so we're a legend. I'm a legend. I'm a legend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So what does this do? What does this do? So what did I do? I get more badges? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What's for badges? What's for badges? What's for badges? Are you sure? Are you sure? What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger, man. And look, y'all, y'all make sure to drop a like on this video if you guys are ready for today's video, because it's gonna be a banger. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, 1 million subscribers on the way. But before I say anything, I wanna give a huge shout out to my boy Key Sticks. Depending on how long you've been a subscriber of the channel, you probably remember Key Sticks from my 2K22 Road to a Million VC series, where me and him took a lot of people's VC in this stage. I've been a friend of Key Sticks for a while now now and he was actually the first legend in nba 2k23 as of yesterday so he is actually gonna let me use his account in today's video so the purpose of today's video is to see if hitting legend is worth it and if these extra badges and what it gives you is actually a noticeable difference compared to somebody who isn't a legend so if you didn't already know the three things you get for legend is one a car now we're gonna show you the gameplay of the car when i get on the account and how fast it is what it looks like and all that good stuff number two you get plus four badges i know that's probably that sounds crazy to you plus four like plus four like one two three four absolutely insane i mean i remember in 2k20 and 2k21 when i hit legend we got plus four now we're getting plus four uh you also get plus four be for becoming a starter in my career so i don't know what's going on with that 2k and then number three reward is the legendary core badge patterns which i will explain later in the video some people were speculating you get a logo for becoming a legend key six did get a logo but he only got a logo because he was the first legend as you can see on this screenshot this was the second legend which happened like about 12 hours later he does not get a logo okay so anybody else hitting legend do not expect a logo you do not get a logo for hitting legend but yeah those are the three things you get for legend so yeah we're we're going to test in this video if it's worth hitting legend or not and if it's a noticeable difference from a legend to a non-legend uh build and all that good stuff and then at the end of the video i'm going to give you my honest review on what it was like being on this legend account and all that good stuff so i think the review is going to be worth it but anyways let's go ahead and get on his account right quick oh yeah we are on playstation 5 it's been a minute as you can see in the top right i'm on keys account bro let's go ahead load up nba 2k23 i have never even played playstation on 2k23 yet so i actually had to buy the game i'm gonna be a legend myself soon so y'all make sure to go set a reminder for the legend stream that's gonna be coming up we're gonna we're gonna look at his builds here oh my god yo 399s four yo 499s is crazy one two three four five six seven seven build or eight eight builds that are 92 or higher yo this boy key sticks is a grinder bro that is crazy okay we gotta get on his inside out score this is the build he told me to get on show y'all show off everything and then get in that game and see how overpowered being a legend is in this game all right let's see Okay, you got the legend panel. I'm not gonna lie, the legend panel's in LA. You can't even tell dude's a legend except for like the logo on the left. He does have a 2K logo. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and look at these legend stats. Let's go. Damn! <laughs> wow! A hundred thousand points is crazy. Yeah, he got more than this too. Like, I swear he probably does. We're gonna look at this second. Five of the go games, 12 season quests, 20 events. Yeah, like he definitely has more than a hundred thousand points. Let's go ahead and peep right quick. Oh my god, there they are. 115,000 points? That's not even including the wreck. Oh my gosh. All right, let's look at this car though. Like, how do we get this car? Okay. So we got the low rider car. Yo. What? <laughs> Okay, hydraulics. Yo, Ronnie2k was hyping up this hydraulics in his stream like crazy. Like, like that? I'm not gonna lie, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this car. You can listen to music on it. Like a chain song. And the Wait, it's playing. 
is wait hold on a second can y'all hear this bro this is george lopez <laughs> yo I am i tripping It is just a car at the end of the day, and I feel like the go-kart is way faster than this. Like, this is the fastest it goes, bro. This is as fast as it can go. It can only hold one person. Oh, you can lift up the car a little higher. I mean, I don't know, man. But it's like, eh. I mean, who really cares about the cosmetic reward anyways? Now, let's look at the actual badges. So, he got plus four extra badges. I don't know where he put that towards, but he has 18, 19, 24, and 17 on this build. So if we click the left stick here, we can do a legendary core pattern, which means we can like have four core shooting badges or four playmaking or four defense or four driving. But at the end of the day, you get this, you technically get like these other, I mean, you do get these other patterns at level 40 this season. So it's like, okay i guess you can customize it but it's not the biggest of deal people were hyping up saying oh technically if you core you know a hall of fame badge in each category that's 32 extra badges or not 32 that's well yeah that is 32 i can't do math but anyways they were saying that's technically 32 extra badges but that's you can get that without legend because it's you can get a core in each category or two in one category you know what i'm saying so i don't know man but you would have to be losing out on one of the core badges you have equipped on another category so if i do all four playmaking i would lose a core badge in shooting driving and defense so it's not like you have four extra core badges which is i think what it should be you're just replacing your other core badges so we look at finishing i'm not gonna take a core badge away from this like slithery and acrobat are really good badges same with fearless and limitless and i'm not gonna lose out on posterizer same with shooting i need limitless range on bronze and all these other shooting badges are really important as well. Then we go to playmaking. I need my playmaking. I need unpluckable in this game with how overpowered the steals is. I need these other tier three badges and playmaking too. Clamp breaker and hails for days. And yes, hyperdrive and ankle breaker. You might not need as much, but you need these badges to get a tier three badge. And these tier three badges are very important. And quick first step is very important too. Defensive. I need anchor. The blocks are not that good, but you need some kind of anchor to protect the paint with all the rim running. And then all these other defense badges, I don't really get anything on Hall of Fame except for Chase. So, like, I can't move these these core badges around. So, this legend reward for this particular build is even really useful. The best thing I can think of doing is taking off Deadeye and making Limitless Rage not cored. And then putting the extra badge on some random stuff like bronze clutch shooter and then i could put the core badge somewhere else that's not shooting i don't think we need any extra driving badges i don't think we need anything crazy on playmaking either so we may as well go defense right so if we customize this core pattern thing we could take away the shooting and put defense go back equip that core see this is another thing in 2k20 when you got 40 extra badges you just got them off rip you didn't have to grind them with these core badges, you have to grind the core badges. So even if I want to challenge record, I have to grind it. I can't just core it. You know what I'm saying? So that is the dumb thing about that. So let's go on the bronze glove. We don't have Hall of Fame chase core, but we have gold. So we'll do that. Now we have five extra badges. We can put silver glove, Hall of Fame workhorse, and silver menace. So I guess that's not that bad, but that's, that's the little boost you get for legend, basically, is... Uh, 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 two extra on workhorse and silver menace that's the boost we get on this build but then we have to sacrifice silver did i so that's the boost you get with those extra badges to me i don't think that's worth it 2k i think how do we go from 2k20 with 40 extra badges to and, and 2k21 to 2k23 four extra badges and then try to bait us with this core badge thing when in reality it's not really doing anything you know what i'm saying i don't know but that's just my opinion let me know y'all opinions in the comment section but anyways let's get on to some gameplay with these let with this legend inside score all right man it's time to play our first game as a legend i mean i'm not a legend but you know what i'm saying on the legend account we're playing a demon too. Six nine goat tier. This is, this is insane. I cannot believe these are the legend rewards. But we're gonna play a couple games on the six nine legend and see if we notice anything of a difference. Because we did use the custom core badge pattern and we did use the plus four badges. So let's see if we see a big difference. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a six nine on my uh, you know account. So all right, let's lock in. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Playing on a PlayStation controller is so weird. Like. 
this is insane like i am not used to this okay yo this thing is like so clunky and big bro this controller oh he's he's boxed he's boxed he's boxed oh my god we're here we're here we're here okay okay we get the stop i don't see i didn't change his jump shot his drill moves i didn't change none of that so you know what i'm saying we we really rock it with the first legends the animation so i, I don't I, this jump shot it could be crazy i, I don't know what it is i really don't but to be honest with y'all no no cheating we really on oh my god yo agreed okay yo he's using isaac bongo, bongo which is basically like set shot 25 from 2k22 okay he's got lebron size of escape come on now is that green too slightly early okay this is this is gonna get some getting used to i really don't i don't know what's going on here the jump shot's new i'm surprised i green that first shot okay mm, should we expect the rim run like we definitely should he's got slashing takeover all right we're here oh my where is he going he's gotta have basic one on right i don't i don't think he does oh my god Okay, all the way. Easy, quick drop. Let's go, baby. Seven to four. Let's see if we can win our first game on this dude's account. Let's see. Mm hmm. Yo, his drill moves are so weird, bro. <laughs> They're so weird. Four seconds. Come on. I, I don't know. I don't know this jump shot. Early. I got the board again. Oh, my God. Am I getting bailed? Am I getting these loose balls? Hey, yo. Oh, my God. All the way. <laughs> Oh my god, we almost got blocked. Yo, yo. Okay, we have takeover. Can we? I don't even think he can. I don't. Can this build fade? We're about to just. We're about to just take the dunk again. Okay. Okay. We got to get a three here. The goal is to get a three with this jump shot. I don't know what. Like I know it's Isaac Bonga, but I don't know this jump shot. Okay. I don't. I've never used it. All right. Spin back. I don't know what his spin back is. From deep. From deep. Yo, 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 yo. I got that. Yo, Hall of Fame workhorse is going crazy right now. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, we're doing the spin back. I don't, I don't, does he have it on? Like, I don't think he does, bro. And this kid just keeps giving up twos. Like, I, I, I know I have takeover, but damn, bro, I'm trying to get a green. All right, here we go. That's got to be in there. That's got to be in there. Green, let's go, baby. Okay, we're getting used to the jump shot. Can we do it for game, though? Can we do it for game? Hold on, hold on. Come on. Let's get this spin back. Like, I, I don't know, like. I don't think he has it on, bro. Oh, he's reaching. He's reaching. He knows he's in trouble. Come on, man. I'm looking like a bot out here, bro. Two for seven from three. Should I fade? Ah, I don't know. I don't have no clue what his fade is. Okay, we're going to try it. Oh, my God. What is that? What was that? What fade animation does he have on? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Yo. Yo. It's really the... That's what the 1v1 court is really about nowadays, bro rim running just rim running rim running green get off my court oh my god i shot nine threes this dude shot zero he said your offense ain't enough but your defense is nice yo yo y'all yo, saw that message <laughs> bro i know my offense is trash right there i i, I don't know this dude's dribble moves or his jump shot it was bad I don't, I don't know what to tell you but hey we got them clamps all right this dude's in game chat seven foot three post score okay bro we're, like we're already getting toxic and it's the second game step back let's get this spin back down oh, where's he where's he at oh that's an early yo <laughs> y'all didn't see nothing y'all did not see nothing yo keys i don't know where key six at but bro this jump shot i gotta put my jump shot out on your account because this is bad we're here we're here yep 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 what the what the yo that is box i'm not gonna lie that is box hold on uh-huh Yep, he's getting cooked. He's getting cooked. That's green. I'm going to get this jump shot down, bro. Y'all really think, thought I was going to get out of this video without shooting well? I'm dunking on him, too. I'm dunking on him. Yamming it down. We're not, we not giving up. Hold on. We're going to get the rim run. Yep, all the way. You, you, you can't. Like, he was playing low on me, but he knows that I can shoot. Watch. I won't need to take over to make this shot right here. Watch this. Watch this. Yep, that's in there. That's in there. That's green. I'm learning the jumper. All right, this build is 6'9 with bronze agent threes, bro. Can I fade? Can I fade? Can I fade? Can I fade green? Oh, my God. Yo, this build is kind of crazy. Like, I don't even think it's the legend. I think it's the build. Hold on. Rim and sharp take. Where are you going? Where are you going, boy? That's green. <laughs> Where is he going? I'm about to go. I'm about to go really back there. Hold on. From half court? From the logo? From the Antioch logo? Spin back. 
Over those. Over those. Yo. Let me. F What's going on here, bro? I told y'all give me one game and the offense going to be nice. And look, at it took one game. 22 points, three steals on him. Bro, we, we were locked in. I ain't going to lie, man. I ain't going to lie. We were going crazy. So after playing on Key6's account, the first Legends account, and experiencing what it was like to be on a Legend account, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be my honest review of it, okay? Number one, it all started when I got on his account and I loaded into the park. I couldn't even tell that I was a legend. And if I walked past key sticks, if I was someone else, I wouldn't be able to tell either. That's a big problem that not a lot of people talk about. If you play a legend or if you walk past a legend or if you see a legend walk past, you should be able to tell. The banner should be glowing in yellow or some kind of legendary thing. There also should be a legend logo below their player in game like the old 2ks there needs to be something that puts a spotlight on that player whether it's in game or when they're walking around and there's just not even the player card literally says in little tiny text legend at the top right like come on bro like it, it, it's bad it's bad number two the four extra badges is genuinely embarrassing I mean, we went from 40 extra in 2K20 and 2K21 to four extra. Not only that, when you become a starter in my career, you get four extra. Not only that, when you hit level 39 in every season, except for this season, but I think it'll continue after this season, you get plus one extra badges. It's just four, like four. That is, that's, that's crazy that it's that low. I mean, at least go 10, man. Four is crazy low especially with how tier threes are like eight for a hall of fame and tier twos are like what six for a hall of fame what is four gonna do that's not gonna do anything for my build number three the core badges don't help like people think they do in reality the best thing for a build is for there to be a one core badge in each category so having all four in one category is just dumb your build's gonna be bad and the other patterns that you would use are going are the level 40 reward this season. If you don't want to have one on finishing and you want an extra in another category, you basically just get that at level 40 this season. So that core bad stuff is genuinely probably useless. And number four, the car, bro. The car is so slow and just does nothing. The level, the season one level 40 reward, the go-kart is faster than this. The ruffles go-kart I have, the, or the go-kart, the MJ go-kart you have from pre-ordering potentially is way faster than this. mobility items in 2K are just not that cool, okay? They're really not. I don't know why people, I know a lot of people were asking for a car. And if you told, asked me about that in my streams or you guys watch my streams at all, you know I hated that idea. The car is a horrible idea, but at the end of the day, the cosmetic, doesn't matter too much to me. The badges and the core badge thing is the main problem. And the last couple things I will say about it is it is way too hard to hit legend for these rewards to be this bad. The harder it is to hit legend, the better the reward should be. Not only that, but hitting legend should make your build have a huge advantage over other players. When I was playing on Key6's account, I couldn't even, I couldn't, there was no advantage. It was, it was like they were just as good because they have a 6'9 build as well. You know what I'm saying? In 2K20 or 2K21, if you were a legend, you had a severe advantage. You had 40 extra bad. And you had a couple other cool things like the legend logo below your player, the legend panel, or even the blimp or the helicopter to make the legend grind even more worth it. This year, it's just, there's, it's not worth it. There's not a big difference between a legend and a non-legend, and it takes way too much time to do so. Anyways, let me know your opinions in the comments section. I'll probably still end up hitting legend because I'm already so close. But it is kind of disappointing to see. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys think I'm spitting facts or if you guys enjoyed it all. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. More content on the way and 1 million subs on the way. It's me, your boy Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.